Tarantulas are among the most famous spiders in the world, thanks to their large size and fuzzy exterior. And tonight, I'm searching the Amazon rainforest for a tarantula that dwarfs every other spider I've ever seen. My name is Benzino, and my mission is to inspire you to get outside and discover the amazing wildlife that's all around us. Back home in the eastern US, we get some pretty cool spiders, but very few species grow to be larger than a quarter or so in body size. That is not true of the Amazonian spiders, which take advantage of the high temperatures and prey availability to grow to pretty epic proportions. What are you? You are a big spider. Are you Cacalia or Phanutria? So I actually don't know what species of spider this is, but I am pretty sure that this is in the Tricalia genus, which is kind of like the fishing spiders of the tropics. And you'll notice it actually does look a lot like the Dolomedes tenebrosus or the dark fishing spider that we get back home in North Carolina. Now the name of this genus of spider actually means rough or savage. These are spiders that are relying on their speed and their venom in order to catch their prey. Now this is not a species that is medically significant to humans, and this is a big spider. I mean, this is at least on par with the dark fishing spiders back at home, which are some of our largest spiders, but this is nowhere near the size of the species that we're actually looking for tonight. So I'll get this cool girl back on her leaves, and we will keep searching for our target species of spider, but that is a cool little find. New genus of spider for me. So I've already found one spider that's at least as big, if not bigger, than almost every species we have in North Carolina. But before I leave the Amazon, I want to find something that is truly spectacular. The species of tarantula that I'm searching for is known to have semi-arboreal habits. So I redirect my search away from the ground and spot this. Okay. So this is a huge... Are you kidding me, Dang. Uh, Dang. I got it, I got it. Dang, that thing's huge. Just look at it compared to my hand. The thing's big, that thing's as big as my hand. That's crazy. Alright, easy does it, girl. Dude, on the stick, that's crazy. That is a beautiful spider. Holy cow. Whoa, she jumps too. Okay, check it out, y'all. This is a huge female pink toe tarantula. Definitely the biggest tarantula I've ever seen in my life. And very differently than other tarantulas that I've worked with before, our avicularia tarantulas, as you can probably tell, are incredible climbers. And this thing is so fuzzy, it actually literally feels like a kitten while it crawls across me. Now this is a large female, and this is just about maximum size for our pink toe tarantulas. These are a strictly nocturnal species of tarantula. You're never going to see these out during the day unless maybe their burrows get flushed out during a period of intense rainfall. So they're nocturnal predators and they're strictly ambush predators. So they don't spin a web to entrap their prey. They actually completely rely on their venom and their size to overpower prey items. And that can include a variety of arthropods, but also small vertebrates. Now, despite the fact that this is a huge spider, the venom of most tarantulas is actually not medically significant to humans. And that is the case for the aviculary genus. I actually haven't seen any studies investigating the properties of their venom, but I assume it's a mild neurotoxin like most of our other New World tarantulas. So if you're ever traveling to a part of the world where you have the aviculary tarantulas, a really easy way to identify them, A, their size, but B, you see that the female has this kind of rusty red abdomen and a tan brown cephalothorax, and all these legs are super hairy looking. And that's because all of those hairs on those legs, they're actually communicating sensory information to the spider. It has terrible vision, basically no sense of smell, but it has an incredible sense of touch. And so that is how it's primarily perceiving the world around it, is that incredible sense of touch. Now, one cool thing that these spiders do have to potentially ward off predators, they can actually flick hairs from their abdomen into a predator's eyes. Those irritating hairs are called urtricating hairs, and that's actually their main defense against predators. They don't want to waste their venom if they don't have to. This is an awesome animal to work with, such a beautiful spider. We'll get her right back on her tree. Man, I love tarantulas because they're the scariest looking spiders, but they are not harmful at all to you. There is no reason to be scared of them, to squash them. You can just appreciate them for the beautiful spiders that they really are. 
If you enjoyed learning about the incredible pink toe tarantula, come along on an adventure to the deserts of the South Russian US to search for one of North America's largest tarantula species. Here's your sneak peek at the species that will be featured in the next episode of The Wild Report. I'll see you next time, but until then, stay curious and keep adventuring everywhere. This has been Zeno of The Wild Report, signing out.